you can see that the general quality of the frozen section is poor. There are a lot of white areas created by ice crystals. The cells are squashed and the nuclear and cytoplasmic details are not well defined. My goal today is to achieve a quality like in the image on the right. In fact, the main problem during the freezing of a sample is the formation of ice crystal that lowers the quality. Forming ice crystals that destroy or damage the structure of the sample, so they modify the morphology of the tissue. This, the other three methods are not safe at all because they are performed at very low temperature. Most importantly, despite the complexity and the risk associated with these methods, the final quality of frozen section is low. This allows me to use a medium that is more liquid than a conventional medium. MCC improves the transfer of the sample into the mold, but also create the perfect connection between the frozen sample and the surrounding medium. Now I use the spatula to move the sample in the center of the mold. At this point, I can fill the uh, mold with the medium and if I want, I can add an identification tag to the block. I put the chuck that come from the cryostat and it is structure that enhances and speed up the freezing of the block. Only 30 seconds are enough to completely freeze the sample. Uh, brain, breast, kidney, liver, uh, all are, can be frozen at minus 40 degrees. What uh, we need to modulate uh, to have a better section of different tissue is the freezing time. For example, for a delicate tissue like brain, it's better to reduce the freezing time in order to stop the cooling down before the block reaches minus 40 degrees. Uh,